When you want to move an object, copy an object, draw a, draw a line, or draw a circle, whatever, what do you do to execute the command? Let's say for example you want to draw a line. So what do you normally do? First, you may either go to the toolbar here and click on it to draw a line. Enter. Or you may either go to the menu bar, click on the line to draw a line. Enter. Or the other way, you may type on the command prompt L I N E execute the line command and then draw a line from there but you may be also using just a keyword L enter to draw the same line so how does the L comes in actually project cat 2011 professional edition gives you a set of default aliases that you can use on the command prompt so that you do not need to type the full length of the command to, in order to execute the command so how and why the L comes in let's look at the tools customize menu click on aliases tab let's scroll down the letter L Click on the L. Now you see the line is assigned to the letter L. So that's why when you type L on the keyboard, it actually executes the command called line. Close it. So how about doing other commands? For example, like copying, you can either go to the toolbar which is copy or you can go to the menu bar modify and go under copy and of course under the command prompt you can type in copy to get the same command execution or the shortcut keyboard would be the standard shortcut keyboard would be CP or copy oh I'm sorry why is it not recognized? That's because I have changed the aliases CP is no longer there I have changed it to CC for my copy command So what you do is you type CC on the keyboard Enter There you go You get your copy command executed and you can copy objects on the drawing so how do I do that we go back to tools customize menu go to aliases let's go back where well, we do not want or you don't want the CC to be a copy command what you do you want to go back to default you can either reset it let's reset the the aliases well are you sure you want to reset the as alias al assignment okay so let's go for yes now you go back down the CP is back on and it is assigned to copy command close it, it. now when you type CC is no longer a known command but it will be CP as the copy command try out enter okay now I want to set my own customized command goes back to menu aliases let's go under I create my new my old my new command I click new alias CC ah make sure that CC is not in the command list because if it is, it will overwrite the assignment that you have assigned earlier. Let's go back CC as copy. I search for copy. Click on copy. Make sure you click on assign. 
it is assigned to copy command, close it. Now when you type cc on the keyboard, enter, you get the copy command executed. Enter. There's another interesting one, tools that you may want to customize, which is your keyboard command. Let's reset the keyboard first. Alright, done. So this is us. These are the standard keyboard settings. So let's create a new setting. Again, we create new. We press control on your keyboard or alternate on your keyboard depending on which one you wanted. Press control. I will do as control Q. I Press Ctrl plus the Q, hold down the Ctrl and Q together. Let's assign endpoint to it. Endpoint, endpoint, yep. Endpoint snap to the command. Let's add the command on Ctrl Q. Done. Close it. Let's switch off the E snap. Oh, okay, it's already switched off. So let's draw a line. You are not able to pick the endpoint correct. So you can click or press the control plus Q on your keyboard and you will execute the endpoint command. Search the other endpoint, press the control plus Q on the keyboard. Done. Now you got a shortcut key for your for keyboard control for your endpoint snap. Of course the other way will be to execute the e snap as we have mentioned in the earlier videos. If you have not seen the video you can actually search for our video there and uh, you can learn how to set snap settings etc on that video. So this is today's lessons on how to create shortcut keys or analysis for Project Cap 2011 Professional Edition and to increase or to give you a faster access to command to speed up your production.